Today we're going to try to answer the question again that we tried a year ago. Can we light an entire garage with a DeWalt battery? So last year I had this Malief 200 watt DeWalt adapter. It's nice, but it was cumbersome. They just most recently sent me their brand new compact one. We'll show you how this guy works. We'll open him up. We're going to take a look and see what it does. It's very similar to the Milwaukee top off design. So here you go. A little more compact, it's big, has a nice area for hot air to come out with a heat sink and a fan. So there you go, that's all there is to do. We're gonna put the power stack on it. On off toggle switch for the light there on top, on off for the inverter, 110 volt right there, two USB A's right there. It's four by four by three, weighs about three quarters of a pound. Not bad, it's all plastic. The last one had quite a bit of metal on it. Now I really wish they had a USB-C adapter. This one doesn't. Now they do have them out there, the old style slide on, but it's just a USB adapter. It doesn't come with a 200 watt adapter here. So you're only gonna pull about 10 watts out of right there. That's it, uh, five volts, two amps. That's what you'll get out of that little USB. So what are we gonna do with this today? We're gonna go around, we're gonna test out what we can run in the house off of this and we'll break down the results. No, <laughs> it tried. It... In, make sure it's plugged in. I'm gonna flip it on. There's low. Medium. and high. When I ran that on last year, we got an awful clicking out of it. So we're getting cleaner power this year on this fan. That's perfect. That's working really well. I don't think it will, but we'll try it. Nope. Nope. It tries. The power to the garage and plug it into my solar. I can do it right there. So we're going to try one at a time. I have a bunch of ceiling LED lights one light in my garage door, and then what I think is an 80 watt overhead light. We're gonna see if this will work for all of those. The furnace is not on, I know it's a mess in here, so we're gonna not worry about that, but the only power it's drawn right now should be one, two, three, four, five LED bulbs, I believe at 13 watts a piece, so that should be 65, and that LED strip light should be 80, should get about 145 watt usage out of it. Let's give it a go and see what happens. First thing I'm gonna do, except it's on the wrong side for plugging in, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna turn that off, we're gonna turn this on. Okay, so we have power to the, let's just hang this here, you guys know it's hooked up. Okay, so, so far, the garage door opener opened up. I'm not gonna to try to power it from that. Okay, lights. They work, okay. Here we go. Ready, fingers crossed. And there we go. Well, this one will kick it out. This is a 100 watt curly. Let's see what happens when we try to plug him in. Wow, a little bit of a hum out of those, which I've noticed before, but it's gonna work in a pinch. Well, let's, uh, let's turn the lights off. There's no way this is gonna work. But hell, let's try to open the garage door with it. <laughs> Not gonna happen, but you ready? Watch it. Nope, 
Didn't like it. That's okay. And for the record, as you can see, full battery when we started and it didn't barely haul anything out of it. So due to my back of the napkin calculations, we definitely hauled more than 200 watts out of that. 